Howdy everyone, hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dead Rising 2, I am the Black Shadow and uh, well we're not in too bad a state so far, uh, we just got our way through case one of the game, um, Chuck's already up to level seven which is not shabby at all for this part, um, he's not quite a, uh, a massive killing machine right now but he's uh, he's getting there folks, he, he's getting there reasonably well, we got a couple of skills, we're probably got, not going to see any of the ones down here but you know, so be it, it is what it is. So, uh, so yeah, as you said, yeah, so case one is now over and done with. Um, Rebecca has at least admitted that something's not quite right here um, and has agreed to do some more investigating. We've still got ourselves uh, about three days until the military turns up and at least Sullivan's saying, well, all right, you got three days, then your ass belongs to the US government. And we're going to be fucked if that's the case. Now, we do have a bit of time until case two is going to kick off. I think it's about like two, three in the afternoon in game. Uh, so we've got a little bit of time until case two gets cracking on, and that's fine with me. Uh, that means that we can look to uh, explore the lap map a little bit, try and rescue a few more survivors, which is exactly what I intend to do. As far as our map is concerned, uh, if we get on to the proper one here. Uh, so the plan for this video is I reckon we're going to make our way over here to Shanks, over at the far side of the Palisades Mall. It's a bit of a trip. Uh, but it will be worth us doing it in the long run. Uh, we have to do it fairly soon if we want to. Again, a bit of time to start life. So we go to them, rescue them, and then by the time we get back here, we should be about ready to crack on with case two. That's the rough plan. We've got this one here as well, meet contestants, but I think I'm going to wait a little while until we do this. Uh, this. We'll, uh, we'll get to there later on. That sounds like a plan, I think, everyone. So let's get going. Sullivan's here as well. Yeah. He's willing to give us a chance, which is nice enough of him, but uh, he he would rather, he would not have any qualms about just shutting me out and calling it a day, which I guess is understandable. He's got a he's got a safe house to keep track of. So that's fine. Sixty-five hours in counting. Radio, then let's go. Right, so uh, we've got to save a pole weapon. We've got what's this? Uh, Americana Casino. That's the wrong direction. Americana is going is right. We're going left, so we can always get that later on. Uh, like once case two starts, we can quickly pop out, rescue them, come back, and then crack on with case two. I reckon that's what we'll do. That's another message. Luscious lady. That's also Americana. So again, we'll worry about that all later on. All right then. We've got our pole weapon, which is pretty nice. We also want to hit. Uh, see if we can find any like library places while we're on our way. Oh, it's about uh, there's a library a little bit over here, so let's see if there's anything useful for us. What have we got here? Uh, we've got health one. That's for health restoration, I'm pretty sure. So that's not much use. We don't have enough health ready to justify out of that. So we can it right now. Well, uh, there's another book over there. What's this? Combat two. Ooh, I reckon I know what that is, actually. To break that out and grab whatever it is. I think that gives us more experience from killing stuff. Not being eaten. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's nice. We'll grab hold of that. That'll be good news. Did you hear that? I hear, I hear sounds of humanity. Hello? Chuck Green, local hero. Coming for the rescue. Oh. Well, never mind. Damn looters. We'll get him. Screw you, because I just hit you in the butt. Beautiful. Yeah, so we'll find looters dotting around the place. They'll uh, give us a little experience, though. So we'll take that. We'll take the uh, baseball bat here as a bit of a clearing weapon. Oh, no, we don't have enough space, do we? Tell you what, drink this. Oh, shit, didn't we do that? Grow a baseball bat, and we all just look to get the hell out of here. There's more looters around, but I'm. I just want to get going here. Time is a fair premium at the moment, and we are pretty damn slow, so we'll move on. Yeah, there's more looters over there in the, uh, the jewelry shop. Idiots. Dodging. Good. Right. Let's just get the hell out of here. Bucks. Uh, around the edge. Yeah. Always works. 
Right, okay, so what's going to be the best way to get through the Palisades and then get up to the top end? Um, I'm reckoning... We could either go up the Silver Strip, or we could go through the Atlantica and then up through the Palisades. We've not been to even these places yet, so give us a little opportunity to sort of explore and I can show them off to you guys as well, so... I reckon we go via the Atlantica. Yeah, sounds good. I don't know which way the game was going to tell me to go. I, I, um, it might tell me to go via Silver Strip, but we'll go Atlantica regardless. Oh, oh. That wasn't good. Again, if you can get them off quickly enough, you can definitely really reduce the damage you take. Where's the game suggesting I go? Game's saying I go for Atlantica too, so that makes it feel happy. But I don't want to go through there yet. I want to swing into here because we can make ourselves another electric rake. And I do like the electric rake. I do love the range you get of it, so we're going to uh, rock and roll with this. There's our furniture improvement thing, which is like, whatever. Nice. There we go, good stuff. Our inventory is a little bit all over the place right now. Son of a... Whatever. whatever. I try and keep these things organised. I suppose we've only got five inventory slots. Doesn't matter too much. Right. Anyways, so we'll go through the Atlantica, and we'll, uh, we'll get cracking on here. Sounds good. Lanaka's not a bad casino. Like, my favorite casino out of the three is definitely Yukaton. There's some really cool stuff in there uh, for you to do. That's right here. There we go. Well, here it is. Been a while. <laughs> Jeez! That was distance. Nice. All right, so we'll push on through here. There's another mixer station over there. Uh, if I wanted to use quick step, which I might well look to do, actually. There's some wine there. I might well just make a quick step and just uh, walk the ball through. There must be a mixer station. There always, always is here. There's the wine here, though. There's a pineapple. Some beans. Whiskey. No, okay, there isn't. Well, I'm worried about that. A uh, point I should bring up, actually, as well, thinking about that. Uh, I did decide to have a quick look up of, um, like, making uh, juices and such. Um, so, yeah. In Dead Rising 1, there's actually not a huge amount of combinations for making uh, for making the juices. Because there isn't actually all that many items, especially compared to Dead Rising 2. The amount of items that you can get hold of and use is, like, so massively uh, overhauled. And there's so many things you can create uh, you can create around with and play around with and mix and match and whatever. As such, uh, I went to look up what the, uh, the chart looks like for mixing stuff on Dead Rising 2. And this is what it looks like. I think I'll just stick to trial and error. Cool lunch. I know that double wine makes quick step, and uh, if there's any like really easy uh, ones to make, then I suppose you guys can probably tell me as well. So, so we'll pick up a bit of money as we go through here. There's some blackjack down the side, which I'd like to play, but not right now. But I would like to do if there's this here, a big pirate ship, and there's a giant moon in the middle. We want to play around with this. Because we can get some decent prize out of this, actually. Costs a grand to play, the Wheel of Destiny. But, well, give us a good one. Ah, two and a half grand, not bad. It's not really I want it. I want the, uh, I want the gift box. Damn. Because you get a lot of experience from it, actually. There we go, environment bonus. Very nice. 5,000 experience for our troubles. That is not bad at all. So I wanted to pick that up there. I don't know if you can multiple, you can do that, get that multiple times. I actually legit don't know. But I want to get hold of that, so. Welcome to the family. Running out of time on that now. So we do need to get growing here. I don't know how much, uh, how much um, durability this rake's got, though. We need to be careful of that. Yeah, 64 hours. Okay, let's uh, get our way through here. Blender's Peaches. Tame an aisle. Oh, there's a shooting range over here? Oh, Christ, there is. I totally forgot there was a shooting range up here. I don't remember the Palisades more right at all. So, uh, yeah, we'll pay a visit here, folks. I want me some guns. There are looters in here, though. Holy shit, there's a load of looters in here. My God. 
defend yourself! Shit! Oh, bollocks! Get them! Electrocute them all! We're level 8! Nice! Our speed's increased! Sweet! That's nice for us, actually. There's the air horn card. Very good. Nice! Speed boost. That is useful. Right in the face. Yeah. Electric rate trashes these guys. Nice, nice, nice. All right, let's go get ourselves some guns, everyone. We'll take the shotgun. Uh, I can only get one weapon. Shit. Um, I tell you what, we'll leave the rake here as a sign of our awesomeness. <laughs> and we're just going to get moving on here. That sounds good to me. But yeah, having the shotgun, that's nice. That'll help us out there. Right, let's cut through some more enemies here. Oh, I can feel the speed boost. Like, it's not massive, but it's enough. Zombies eat people. People eat here. <laughs> Very good. Holy shit, is that what I thought it was? Nice, there's Neckery. Straight out of uh, Dead Rising 1, that. Nice little reference. I can find some swords and all sorts of shit over there. That'd be sweet. Right. Get our way from here uh, gradually. That'd be good. Sports store, CD place. I always love the names for these. Oh, there's another magazine place over there. Uh, no, nah, let's just get going. We are not great on time here. It goes deceptively, so we'll worry about it later on. We'll come back. We've got uh, another, another, uh, another, another place to buy stuff there from. We've actually nearly got enough to get hold of a box on bricks. I won't do that, but to see if the problems are down here, we've got Kenneth and the Ali down here, Shanks. Oh, shit. Shit. Yeah, we got a war in here. Kenneth and Jack. And Jack doesn't look he's doing Jack at all. Let's give Kenneth, Kenneth a hand here. Oh, things are about to break as well. That's unfortunate. Get him. Go, Kenneth. Attack. Violence. Destruction. Me him. There we go. We got him. Good job. Nice job, Kenneth. Oi! He's, don't think he appreciated that. Sorry about that. Yeah, we need to get out of here, buddy. We don't want to stay here. Probably kill me if something happened to a dimwit poker fiend of a husband. Oh, that must be Jack. Look, Jack, we can't stay here, right? We need to go. I will be skipping through this dialogue fairly quickly here. If you want to pause and read, go for it. But I have to worry about time constraints. So, you know, I have a little skim read and that's about it. Look, we can't stay here, all right? This is ridiculous. All right, he'll leave with us. Good. All right, then. Let's give you guys some weapons here. Do you want my ball bat? Uh, do you want it? No, he doesn't want it. Yeah, the AI don't take custom weapons, really, which is unfortunate. I bet he'll take this broadsword, though. You want this, Jack? Of course he does. Right. Some machetes here. That would be better for Kenneth than this little shitty knife he's got. Machetes is a good little weapon, actually. Get him! Nice. Good job. All right, then. We'll take the machete, and I guess we'll leave the ball back. It's nearly broken anyways. We'll take some health, though, quickly. All right, then. Shall we get out of here, kids? I think we should. Right. What way do we want to get back, then? Uh, I reckon if we go via the Yucatan and then swing on down the uh, swing on down the Silver Strip, that's probably going to be the best way for us to go. I like the sound of that. Let's go make it happen, everyone. Uh, Sign of Life, we need to pilot that as well. Yeah, so there's a load of stuff going on in the Americana, uh, but we should get an opportunity to, to survive ah! well. very soon. Right, let's go. We're going to swing through the Yucatan. Besides, it's in your interest to go and pay a visit by Yucatan. Got to be careful with your AI, though. They don't always like following you very easily here. But you want to swing through the Yucatan, folks. For fun. I was so thrilled when I saw Rat Renny since the first time. I was like, holy shit. Hey, buddy. <coughs> hey, what's the matter? Snowflake hungry. Huh? Oh. Ooh. Oh. 
Uh, oh, crap. Look what I found you, pretty girl. Fresh meat. <laughs> uh. Whoa. Look. There's plenty of zombies around for her to eat. No! No, not zombies! That mirror's rotten! It's like all her food now! It went bad! She needs meat! Fresh meat! Okay, okay. Not zombies. But I can help. I can get her some food. Some steak. No! People have not been very good to me. Not like Snowflake. Snowflake, my friend. One thing I always give Capcom credit for, they know how to do these Listen, psychopath fights. Let's talk and how to set over. these up. They're so great. What's your name? Theodore. But everyone call me Ted. Slight spoiler there, by the way, but whatever. That's good. The game's you ten years old. don't have to do this, Ted. We just need to slow down and talk this over, right? Uh, nice and slow, Ted. Ted. No! Uh -oh. Ted, not slow! They all said that! Ted, not slow! Stop saying that! See, people not nice! Snowflake, go and eat your fresh meat. Oh boy. Nice and slow. <laughs> Living like a hidden boss fight, folks. Against Ted and Snowflake. All right then. So first thing we'll do, get our allies the fuck out of here. We will deal with this fight ourselves. Right, so this is a two-parter. So we've got both Ted and Snowflake the lion down there as well. So the first thing we need to do is deal with Ted himself here. Snowflake will get involved. Snowflake is a problem. <laughs> Shit in hell. Ted does have a gun, as you can see there. Though he will do some melee attacking. Leave me alone, Snowflake. Though you don't want to attack Snowflake if you can help him here. Get him. Run. Ooh. Leave me alone! Oh, no, not the zombies! Fuckers! That's the problem. Into the machines! Uh, ah, my face! That's my face! I don't appreciate you doing that. But yeah, you can certainly attack and kill Snowflake if you want! Shit! But there's a reason not to if you can help it. Ow! By the way... Great job to Cell Dweller for some awesome fucking boss music in this game. You guys, you guys fucking rule. Oh, Swats. How do you get healed? Now, this is what we've got our, uh, this is what we got this for here to recover some health here. Multi-use. Really useful. Don't overuse it, though. You can make yourself sick, and that's a problem. Shit. Oh, fucking. Goddamn tigers. Ted down. Kill him. Got him. Nice. Ooh. It's not the hardest boss fight in the world, folks, but it's never pleasant when there's a fucking tiger around. So good. Ted. I do feel sorry for this guy. Kitty. Come, kitty. You still hungry, girl? This is where they're so great with this, in that, like, some of these people you meet are, like, Take absolute me, bastards. Snowflake. And some of them were just feed you. so tragic. Dead take care of you. Fresh meat. Just for you, kitty. 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 Sad, sad, sad.
So we've beaten Ted, and that's great. But we're not done yet. Also, hello, level up. Oh, Christ. Because now we still need to deal with Snowflake herself. Now, ow, while I get murdered here. So, I don't know how many people knew this the first time they played this game. I certainly didn't. I need to pause the game to explain this quickly. But Snowflake can actually be, for lack of a better way of putting it, rescued. Although this is an absolute bitch to manage. And I did do some off-screen work to practice this. Um, Snowflake still wants some fresh food. So why don't we go give her some? And we can definitely do that. Now, it, luckily, inside of the, uh, over this place here, there are some, whoa, there are some, Jesus Christ, some steaks around. There's three of them specifically. And what we can do with the steaks is we can look to try and feed Snowflake Lees in order to rest to, like, um, get Snowflake to us. There's the other two there. Now, doing this is a pain in the ass. It's really tricky. I didn't mean to press any of that. So what we've got to do here, basically, is we've got to get Snowflake to charge us. And then when Snowflake's charging us, throw the meat in front. And then Snowflake will walk up to it like so. And we'll eat the steak. And it'll recover some health when it does that as well, which is good. We need to do this three times, everyone. So get, get, the game is very kind in that it at least gives you all the... Uh, Gives you all the stuff you need beforehand. Snowflake will also absolutely trash this place. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Too slow. You have to get like Snowflake a big distance away though, because otherwise you're just not quick enough. You've got to see it coming. That's oh, not good. It's generally a pretty good area to do it. Is amongst all the uh, the tables here. You can generally see what's going on. Where'd she go? There he is. Throw it. Throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it, throw it. There we go, good. Hello, I saying throw it, throw it, throw it. I've thrown it long ago. It was like, please work. There's two. Right, let's get the third one before she eats me. There we go. All that now. It's no plate murdering things down here. Uh -oh. oh, that was never going to work. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up. Right. Come on. Eat it. Yes! I think we got it. Get over here, guys. Oh, you so glad I practiced this. Nice. Yeah, three times the charm. Whoa, good kitty. And Snowflake will actually join your party. How fucking awesome is that, everyone? Awesome, awesome, awesome. I mean, come on, folks. How cool is that? All right, so I'm really happy I got that through pretty quickly. That could be an absolute pain in the ass, that. Um, I remember I spent ages the first time, like, trying to, to do this. And, like, how the fuck... It's a real pain in the ass to get in Snowflake to, um, to actually take the meat. Because you don't, can't just leave it around for us to grab. You have to do it when it's charging you, basically. About the best you can manage, so... All right. Well, that what then? All right, then. So we need to go and get back to uh, the safe house super damn quick. Now, the best way for us to do this, there's another one here. Uh, America. Look at all this stuff at the Americana. Loads of stuff going on here. So how we want to get back, the quickest way from here is surely got to be the platinum strip and then down here. It's going to be tight, though, this. Like, I'm going to have to get my skates on. No, the game suggests going through the food court. You know what? Fine. Follow me. The game suggests the food court. We'll take the food court. Let's get to the doors. So, yeah, so Snowflake will join you. Snowflake's actually a pretty co capable combatant as well. Pretty sweet. Come on, Kenneth, hurry up. Kenneth. Keep there we go. Good. We ain't going to be swinging around and doing much sightseeing, folks. We've got to run through here super quick. Food Court is like one of the sort of later area parts of the game will be here more. Nice, so nice though that you can actually uh, move while uh, while aiming uh, with this game. At least with guns you can. Stick close. Come on, guys, hurry up! Move it. That is so damn useful. 
Tar. Just to help clear us through. Speedy Espresso. Again, I could get Quick Step, but that's no good for anyone else. It only affects me. The Wild Wits Grill. A lot of good food you get there, actually. Hurry up. Fucking hell. Kenneth stuck. Ah, shit. Also, more problems. And throw into that guy. We're going to have a hell of a time getting back here, folks. Right, okay then. Just get over there, please. Here, go give Kenneth a hand. Kenneth got tagged by something. Come on, hurry the fuck up, you. I know it's not your fault, but still. Hurry. Now. He's going, at least. Alright, let's get some healing going on the fly. AI don't know how to use this, unfortunately. Oh, these aren't even... Oh, it's night time now, so they're not even running. Snowflake kicking ass. Which is good. Oh, this one's working. Keep going. Okay, then. Now that takes us through to uh, wherever this place is. Oh, it takes it into the slot branch. Oh, it's actually no transition between the two places. I didn't even know that. Interesting. Crap's corner over there. That's where we need to get to, over there. Right. Over there. Now. Go on, Kenneth, let's go. I ain't losing this game because of you, buddy. Unfortunately, he's not the quickest. This way. For fuck's sake, he's not the quickest. Problem as well with like areas like this, uh, when it's not a door, uh, is that you can't, you don't get the blip saying if they're ready for the transition or not. If you're gonna leave them behind, you have to basically guesstimate on what you see. Which is the one nice thing about going via doors. At least you know. Right. This could be interesting. Come on. So we're gonna start getting worse and worse here. No, 550 kill. Another level up. Nice. Is that extra inventory? It is. All right, that's good. That helps. Next item here for us to use the gem blower. It's not. It's not great. Yes. From my memories. Some loot is there. I don't want to fight you guys Stay at close. all. Wait there. Right. Let's tell them to get over there. Go, Kenneth. It's about to break. Really. Grab on the way. I think so. Sorry, Jack. You understand, right? I need the sword as well. I need that. I might just give him the guitar. Right. Move over there next. Of course there is. Kathy saying, yeah, hurry the hell up. I'm like, okay, I'm working on it. Holy shit, we got a fight with looters here. Oh my god. I have no weapons. Oh no. This is bad. Stay over there. Right, it's just time to get the hell out of there. This is not good. I don't have the ability to do the fighting right now. I'm a bit busy. Damn looters. Get them, Snowflake. Good job. Nice. Right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, now we got through it there, folks. It wasn't too bad. Right. I want to give this to, to Jack because I want the sword back. I also would like the machete back as well. Machete is actually a nice weapon to give to the AI. Because uh, it's pretty quick for them to use and they can do a lot of damage. So I'll take the machete back from you as well, Kenneth. Thank you. It'll do. Stick with me. All right, we made it back then. I am very happy because that could have been really, really bad. Luckily, we got the uh, the fight done nice and quickly though, so that's good. Kenneth, hurry up. Thank you. I don't know what Sullivan's gonna make of this. <laughs> Just bring a fucking tiger in, sure. Why not? 
Oh, good stuff. Give me the experience. There we go. More health. Nice. And more skill moves. Very, very good. What skill moves have we got now out of curiosity? I don't actually know. DDT. Uh, if we skate quickly and grab on the front, we can get an instant kill. We also got the curb some. Ah, that's handy. Uh, trying to kick enemies on the ground is a bit of a pain in the ass in this game sometimes. So uh, that would be actually quite handy. Obviously, you have to do it with uh, an enemy nearby, though. So that's good. All right. I'm just a little worried about her. The stress of all this, along with that horrible medicine. It's a lot for a little girl. When this is all over, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this up to her. Hey, what was that? I don't know. It looks like something's going on at the entrance to this maintenance tunnel. Hmm. Can't quite tell for sure, but it looks like someone is moving equipment or something. I'm glad you can it tell that. Pretty organized. It's a lead. The only one we've got. It could be whoever's doing this to us. Listen. It's none of my business. But... What? Nothing. Just... Be careful, okay? For her sake. That was an awkward smile. Awesome, awesome stuff. Alright then, so... Some underground tunnels. There's weird stuff going on. Interesting. So we need to make our way down there through the Palisades and work out what the hell is actually going on. Backtracking! Hooray! I know, right? Isn't that great? Right, what we're going to do first is we're going to very quickly save the game. And then I'm going to see if I can do something or not. We might have to wait because uh, Katie's not actually awake yet. So there's a few um, things in the game that are like kind of bonuses uh, that you can actually give as gifts to Katie. Um, I forget what the hell these are, but these can give you actually a lot of uh, extra experience, folks. One of them is Snowflake the Tiger. Here we go. <laughs> Yay, I have a tiger. Hooray. And she's suddenly awake again. There you go. You're welcome, Katie. Anything is, oh, you actually, I think you get a lot more experience than that for giving them these gifts. Huh, interesting. I, I thought you'd get loads of experience. My apologies. Well, either way, there's a bonus there. I'm sure Katie was happy to be woken up for that. Then. Nice. Bonus experience points. Very good. All right, then. So, that's what we're going to call that, folks. So, thank you guys for watching, as always. Um, and, yeah, so next up, we're going to be heading back down to the Palisades, by the looks of it. Well, I see that. we got to head via that way. Okay, then. But what we're going to do first is we're going to head into uh, the Americana. And we are going to, like, get all of these people. Uh, that should be awesome. We've also got plenty of time on the contestants as well. So, I'll probably get to deal with that later on. But first up, the Americana. We're going to get ourselves some survivors. I'll see you then.